Hey everybody, this is Anthony Ewing and welcome to episode one of The Vlog. I am super excited to get this thing off the ground. I feel like this project has been brewing for quite some time. Although I don't necessarily have a real clear picture of where this project is gonna end up. And that really, really excites me. I am very intentional with the type of value that I would like to put together by using this medium of video and YouTube specifically. Take a look at some of the content. As it's released, hopefully it allows you guys to think differently about some things. So why a vlog? As many of you guys know, and I say as many of you guys know because I'm sure with episode one, this is a lot of friends and family watching. I started a company by the name of Thoughtium. The mission of my business is to enable organizations to think differently about the way that we learn as adults in corporate America. That's why my practice exists. I really think that the vlog is a, a unique opportunity for me to position my practice to provide disproportionate amounts of value in unique areas. I want to find the white space. Secondly, I really feel as a learning professional that we should be continuing to own our craft and continuing to develop ourselves as practitioners and not just facilitators of learning and development. And thirdly, and this is the personal one for me. As an entrepreneur, as I start this business, uh, I really feel strongly about committing to a certain creative process. You know, over the years, I, I've been influenced by a, a several thought leaders in this area that have really driven this point home of documenting the journey and really making sure that uh, as you move along the entrepreneurial journey, you're documenting and you're continuing to challenge yourself to think differently creative, creatively and put that perspective out there. And so committing to the creative process is something that I also feel very strongly about. Thank you guys for tuning into episode one. Take a look at episode two, which gives you a little bit more of a specific example of a best learning practice by the name of storyboarding, which allows you to think a little bit differently about the way that you present. Take care guys and we'll see you soon.